Atlas Control, this is 1134. Check for green. 1134, all systems green. Arc launch protocol initiated. Cryogenic preparation commencing. Initiate nanotrite injection. Check. Cryogenic life support systems online. Subterranean launch injectors ready. 97% nominal. shit. Okay, first things first. I don't really dislike FPS, even though most games that comes out nowadays are first-person shooters. I don't really care about that. So I don't really approach a first-person shooter game with a knowing that it's gonna suck just because it's a first-person shooter game. But with Rage, it's different. And I realized it after I had done the same fucking thing over and over again. And that is just shooting it until it's dead. It's not such a big amount of variety in the game. Okay, you can raise, and well, that's good because it's something different, but in the end, it will be the same fucking thing, over and over again. And Jesus fucking Christ, it was so fucking boring. It was so fucking boring, my brain turned to jelly, and I felt so fucking dumb. Dumber than usual, though. But shit. And it's really a fucking easy game. Okay. I played on the hardest difficulty, and it was fucking easy. I, some map or places I could finish without shooting a fucking bullet. But I don't really know if the game's really that easy, or I'm just that fucking good. And also how they introduced all the bad guys. Ooh, you need to watch out with those bandits, you gotta take some serious fire firepower with you to break them down. And then when you're done, it was fucking nothing. Ooh, watch out for the mutants! Fucking nothing. Okay, it was some bosses, but it was fucking nothing. But that Thorthy! Oh, Jesus Christ, don't mess with them. Fucking easy. And they, and then when they say that the authority got a classified or classified, and it gets really interesting, and then you meet them off to, say, in the next fucking place, and it was... Well, what do you think? Whoa, it's fucking nothing. And whoa, it's fucking ammo fucking everywhere. It's fucking money fucking everywhere. Fuck, where the fuck is the fucking challenge? And if you use those other ammo types and all the robots and shit you can build, it becomes super duper fucking easy. It becomes easier than the easiest fucking thing you can do here in this world. Some of the places you visit, you revisit multiple times to what? Pick up, pick up a fucking beer bottle. Sometimes you, you enter through the exit or enter through the entrance or what the fuck it is. Jesus Christ, can't I just go to another fucking place where you need to go back to the same fucking thing all over again? Okay, it's not really that many places you revisit, but shit, come on. And like I said, the enemies are easy as shit. But wait, where the fuck are the Russians? What, FPS without Russians? Oh god, this is not a complete- Oh wait, there they are! Ah, they don't explain shit about the story when they do, it's fucking too fucking late. The f all the fucking characters are shit tier. I mean, fuck with the story. You need to take everything for fucking granted. Well, the authority is the bad guys. Why? Hey, fuck you, that's why. When the story really begins, it fucking ends. And what a fucking ending it was. Fight them off. No fucking boss battle. What's so fucking ever? Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. The only thing the authority does is just act all bad and shit. Holy shit, in that interaction. Just like in Half Life 2. Pick up that camp. Fuck every one of you. Shit. Fuck. 
mean, the overall fucking impression. I mean, if you take everything two and two. Jesus Christ, how horrifying. Fuck, what a horrible fucking game it is. I mean, every, I mean, if you take everything individually in the game, then of course it's good, but if you take everything together, fuck, it's horrible. Because lots of the thing doesn't even matter in the end, to be honest. The only good part, and that's only if you compare them to something else, is that some of the NPCs will comment on your racing abilities of what the fuck you did in the world. Yeah, it makes the world feel alive, but only if you fucking compare that. Otherwise, it doesn't fucking matter in the end. Not even a fucking co-op or fucking multiplayer can fucking save this game. Fuck. The only thing they can save the game is... Rage 2! <coughs> but, anyway, fuck. Jesus Christ, how horrifying. So yeah, don't waste your fucking money on this shit. I mean, if you want to try it out, don't fucking pay for it, because it's not worth the fucking money. It's short, it's... F <sighs> oh, God. I mean, id Software. Well, just because it's id Software, it's got to be good. Just because it's id Software that did the game, the game is gonna be good because they are known for doing this kind of games. Well, no. It was not fucking good. It wasn't even bad. It was fucking horrible.